<clears throat> okay, so we are back, and as you can probably tell today, we are playing uh, slightly more Win SP World War II than that is Steel Panthers uh, World War II here. So, uh, with that said, I mean, I figured we'd pick out another, you know, semi introductory scenario, play it through. I mean, there's a lot of choices here. Or alternatively, I can show you some of the maps and some of the other, uh, say, portions through the, um, what do you call it here? Battle generator here so uh some of you guys waiting in chat as you may have noticed i'm trying to to get a uh, a, a timer i'm just going to hop back to this page here that displays the current time unfortunately it doesn't work if you do know html and how javascript interacts um as you can probably tell here the time to done the time today is uh isn't it's not exactly working out i don't seem to be able to import the thing correctly um if you do know how to do that um yeah be like like tell me because i i really would like to get that set up so i can you know say like starting at xyz o'clock instead so that's that and uh anyhow today i figured we'd pick out some of the scenarios here to play through and uh, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to try to find one in particular. If you guys have a particular, you know, favorite, you know, like shout it out. So long as it's not like say more than 30 units on one side, uh, please do tell me. The thing is that, I mean, like back in this time, I don't think people thought that the game would be this big. I mean, a lot of these scenarios, some of them, they really don't tell you a lot about it in particular. If you guys know exactly the one that I'm talking about, there is a nice introductory scenario where you play as a, as a US force with half tracks, uh, infantry, and Sherman tanks, and all you really do is just try to press through a couple of towns in quick succession. And I think it's a really good introductory scenario. To narrow it down, I think it's, you know, past the 200 or 100 mark here in terms of the scenario listing so bear with me here unfortunately I, I really want to show that one in particular because i think it's a really good exercise for for it here um this was also kind of cool uh, villiers bocage where you got a couple of tanks where tiger tanks fading against uh british troops and the, the british just got absolutely annihilated uh it's actually quite a difficult scenario in my opinion but right now again all i'm trying to do is to try to find that scenario is it this one no not breakthrough or else so yeah lots and lots of stuff here you got a mini campaign actually with uh, some of these things i think the dak line of scenarios here these are actually uh taken from a board game which is kind of cool you guys want berlin there's a uh, sector z here which is a uh, germany defend versus ussr assault which kind of does that not a terribly big fan of the defensive scenarios inside the game more or less it's kind of like you either win or you don't is is kind of the thing i mean they're doable but i think they're they're less fun is it this one firefight at no i think i think it i don't know what it is called is the thing i played it a long long time ago but it is a good introductory scenario here um it has a very plain name like, it quite literally says it's a nice tutorial scenario, if that helps you guys out. But I don't think we'll be able to find it from the looks of it. I don't think it's actually that high in terms of numbers. Yeah, we're at, we're near the end of the scenario list now. So, uh, let's see. What should we do? What should we do? Uh, what else is a good introductory scenario? In Enemy at the gates seems kind of fun. Uh, mark ones to Moscow. Yeah, like the the main thing is that this little briefing right here, I feel as though it's a little short to to really give you a good idea of what you're kind of getting into. And that said, it would be more interesting if uh, we could find something a little better. Is it the farthest reaches? No, 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 no. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the bottom portion of the screen here is the main thing. I distinctly re uh, remember it being there, but uh, another good infantry map is this one. It's a Polish versus German defend. Um, it's an infantry uh, like map, and it's kind of just a wave of infantry, really. Uh, so we could try that one. I have also played, eh, since you guys want battle, or one of you guys want 
Berlin, we can do sector Z. I think it's a quick scenario where you play as Germanys and you're defending against the, uh, the, the, the Soviets there. So let's start that up and let's take a look at what we have here. So sector, sector Z, we are defending the Chancellery over here. And it's a very small map, but it is, I think, based off of the uh, the actual, you know, uh, Battle of Berlin here. And from the looks of it, we are defending uh, things coming from the uh, east here and presumably over the Landwehr Canal here. So this should be quite interesting to see how that happens. Taking a look at our units listing here, we have HQ. Uh, we have a lot of Volkssturm from the looks of it. We have some um, WSS, Waffen SS dudes uh, rolling around. Lots of, um, again, kind of cheap infantry. And it looks like we're being reinforced by uh, SS Nordland sometime later on. And a couple of units streaming through. So I don't know about the difficulty of this battle, but uh, it should be interesting to see. Looks like we have a artillery observer here. He's covering a very narrow portion of the street. Visibility about 47, so this should be daytime. And what do we have here? Just a lot of Panzer, or not Panzer Grenadiers, but uh, Waffen uh, were very, very low quality uh, reserve infantry. So these guys here, I mean, they're armed with, you know, Carbonier rifles and a single M LMG, but take a look at their experience. They're around 45. I think regular units are about 75 ish or 60 ish. So yeah, these guys, these Volksgrenadier groups, they're, they're honestly not the best for by any stretch or means. And what that says to me is that I want to set them up so that we we really want to kind of embroil the the Russians here in house to house combat and really try to try to exploit the fact that we are defending here as best as we can. Um, I'm probably trying to move that unit there. All I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the units to set up such that you know what um, I want to try to reduce enemy. Uh, the however many enemy troops there are here at the very start and I kind of just want to bleed them out so that they don't even have the chance to get to the uh, the, the control points further back more so than anything but uh, apart from that I think I'll let the game count down and see what we can do here just going to take a look at whether or not we have artillery no units available so we are by ourselves here Let's see what happens. And yeah, you get this really, really lovely map. Some of these are, this this one in particular, I mean, it's a historical map. So you do have things like the uh, railway station here. You have the chancellery and things like that. Unfortunately, the palette for buildings is kind of limited. So uh, that said, I mean, a lot of buildings, you got to make them through these composite buildings, which kind of, you know, takes away from the looks of it. I don't think they were ever able to update the, uh, the tile sets for this game, unfortunately. So... Let's see what happened on the first turn. And again, I have my settings set up here so that the turns run really fast. Um, that said, we can take a look at the stuff through here. It looks like we suffered one casualty, which, you know, for 1944, that isn't bad. It looks like they're moving up. IS, uh, you know, heavy tanks, SLM. I don't really know the exact type of these. I'm not really a fan of the late game vehicles. Uh, for late later World War II vehicles, but uh, looks like they're rolling in tanks over here. They have rifle squads, and just in general, a lot of stuff coming down through here. So, what should we do? What should we do to counteract all of this? So, we have some uh, Volkssturm and some regular infantry here. Well, I'm going to get my infantry, and I'm going to get them to not try to shoot anything passed right around three hexes on the front and this is because i want to ambush the enemy as best as i can so in the middle of the day so that'll be harder to do but nevertheless with all the fire support and things that they have i'd rather keep my guys uh hunched up inside the buildings before anything uh really happens so i think that'll be that we'll let the turn advance and we'll see what happens so ooh. I think we picked off a tank there. Yeah, it looks like we did pick off a tank. Um, I'm gonna attribute that to the uh, to the to the scouts because the, the Volks Grenadiers are are probably worthless. And it looks like a lot of guys are getting 
I, I think what's happening here is that the Soviets are trying to ra run around uh, Sarland Street over here. Our infantry are in for those close assaults. So what's happening is that they move up here just before, you know, three hex range. That's 150 meters uh, in real life. They get up there. That's in SMG range. And our guys just kind of buzz them down from the buildings. Um, odd thing, they were actually not really odd thing, but in this game, I mean, the tanks actually have uh, carrying capacity, so they can indeed, uh, you can have tank riders on top of them. So I think we we had a pretty good turn here. We took two losses, LMGs and Volksturm don't hold up pretty well, so we had uh, four losses there, three losses in that turn. But it looks like we took down a, uh, a ISM. And, you know, the, the thing is that I'm not really sure how to check for infantry riders really quickly. I think you, you can see them on this page, however. Uh, but anyhow, it looks like there were some engineers on top. So there were 10 men in this squad. If we take a look at the other squad, there were 10 men there. Uh, either we got really lucky and mowed down a couple of um, engineers riding on top of the tanks, or more likely they probably wore just uh, 10 men sizes here. So, okay, that is pretty good. Oh, hey, the Volksturm got the uh, the tank kill. So that's quite interesting. So that is one tank down. Um, our scouts here may have not been seen. And I need to read up on the command. Does anyone know off the top of their head how do you do selective fire in, in the game? So we can target these guys. And then from what I remember, we can press uh, some key combination here with targeting such that we don't fire all of the all of the different weapons we have and the reason why is i want them to shoot their panzerfaust and leave so I'm, I'm gonna ignore this unit for now. I think the video is still delayed by, at the very least, a minute. So that said, I'm gonna move to another field of uh, combat. And then I think if anyone knows the command off of their top, off the top of their head, um, then we'll use it. So, okay, so they're pressing over here with T-34s. This is again, uh, tank heavy stuff. So I think we'll ignore it for now. Looks like there's a, there's a squad of infantry here, SMG squad with nine men. Take a look at another squad. Um, I think they have 10 men squads. Rifle squads are definitely 10. Um, this rifle squad actually took nine or four losses already. This one took three, so, uh, and this one took two. So yeah, we're making quite a lot of progress in terms of killing off their infantry. It's just kind of a matter of how well can we hold these locations. And I'm actually going to zoom down just so that we can get a better sense of, you know, the close quarters combat going around over here. So again, tanks in close proximity. Our guys, I'm going to get them to rally. I'm going to get them to rally again, try it. And hopefully we have enough uh, guys over here to mount a close assault. They assaulted it. They immobilized the tank right there if you didn't catch the tank. Um, so that said, this thing is pinned. Uh, the tank is actually retreating. So it broke its morale. Very, very good. And we can get our infantry to now pull back into the to the back sides of the building, really. And again, I just want to try to hole up here in, in this, in, you know, in the grand scheme of things, either way, the Reich is kind of over by now, but uh, we'll try and see how long we can hold, really. So, right, so again, ambush positions, I'm going to get our guys to shift positions, get into the backs of the buildings, and really, we're going to fight a delaying uh, fight here, where we want our guys to continually pull back, and we want them to try to ambush enemy forces as best as we can. I'm under the impression the rifle squads will try to come over here for... Um, a a circle or try to isolate our troops there so let's try this again so we target the tank and then from what i remember the command used to be w if i press f it's gonna fire on the tank which is fine but i want them to solely fire with that uh panzer faust and as you may have noticed there the uh the, the enemy infantry managed to pin down our squad which is not a good thing to say the least so I'm going to get this squad of Volkstern to actually pull back into the building, try to rally these guys as best as we can. And again, I want to fight that delaying force um, and really try to just brawl it out with whatever uh, there is over here. So again, whatever we can, we'll try to get our guys to pull back gradually and to really just kind of fight them through uh, whatever, fight them in close proximity. So that's another turn done. Let's see what happens. 
Right, so over here, these guys are spotted. They're going to take on the full brunt of uh, fire. It looks like the LMG was hit by a uh, high explosive shell, took out a guy, and they are pulling back. Over here, the infantry are yeah, in pro close proximity. These guys are kind of screwed, but they did get rid of one tank. So that, that slows things down by a decent amount. And so long as we can keep uh, pushing our guys through here, that should be fine. The Volkssturm bailed into the enemy forces, and it looks like the, the scout squad was actually taken out in completely. Ooh, sniper action right over here. This guy's been picking off a couple of Soviet squads, uh, a couple of people crossing the, the road there. So that is good, but we got to pull back that uh, sniper real fast. In close proximity, he is not going to last very long, being where he is right now. Yeah, lots of, uh, looks like they have some, you know, IS tanks and some um, SU, can't really tell right now, but heavy guns coming down here. They actually, for, for the Battle of Berlin, they actually grabbed their... Um, and, and if you play Men of War, you'll know the unit that I'm talking about, but the uh, the super heavy, like, 300 caliber uh, thing, artillery piece, and they actually brought it in so that they could siege individual buildings with it. Uh, so, yeah, that to give you guys an idea of how how much time and effort kind of went into taking these buildings, right? And some of these positions, hey, they were really, really difficult to take down. Yeah, so we have a packed gun over here. And this thing we can, we can we can use to siege anything coming down this road. So let's take a look at the unit stats again. Let's just take a look at how this works. So we have a pack 88 millimeter gun. Um, it has 20 HE, 40, 40 rounds of armor penetrating in shots. It has a range of four kilometers, which isn't too important right now. Experience is 72, so it's about average. The gun crews here are decent, I would say, and has a penetration value of 24 from the looks of it with pure H, uh, AP. Taking a look at the enemy vehicles here, uh, it looks like we have a decent chance at hitting them. The only question is, do we want to start firing at them right now, uh, or should we wait about uh, some time for it? So they are about 100 uh, or 1,000 kilometers off. Uh, we can set this to half range, which would fire on them if we would set it to 24. Let's see, max range of um, just slightly ahead of those guys. Let's try nine tiles, 45 meters. I think it's a bit close. So, hmm. I think we will set a range of maybe 15 hexes, 75 meters. So, or 750 meters seems to be a good mark for that. So anything that comes below that, uh, the thing will take a shot at and try to get rid of. So again, close quarters action here. We're going to try to assault one of the tanks. Um, doesn't look like it did anything, unfortunately. And again, it's cycling through all the weapons. Oh, hey, perfect. Panzerfaust worked, took out another one of their tanks. So that is gonna be another smoldering rune. And these guys right over here, they're going to pull back. It looks like the tanks are separated from the infantry, which is not what you want to do inside an urban scenario. So this MG manned by, uh, I think, SS troops are going to mow down some, some juicy SMG targets there. And over here, our infantry don't need to face that immobilized tank. That is not a threat anymore. These guys can crawl back into the buildings. And we are in a pretty good position up here inside the north. I am really worried about the tank swarm uh, below, however. So we will see what we can do there. And we'll push forwards. Oh, it looks like the tank destroyer team pushed up, tried to get a kill, but uh, was found and appropriately hit by something. So it looks like the tanks are moving forwards. Boom, another pickoff for us. Very, very good. And honestly, the main thing is that for this play, for this uh, urban terrain, I think the main thing is honestly just picking off the tanks. The rest of the stuff we can handle quite nicely. So yeah, it's kind of nice. The game has a, a wide variety of different terrain. And um, yeah, each and every single one of them are, are quite different. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a game centered around the tanks. 
that's just kind of how Steel Panthers is designed. It actually has an AI setting here if you want it to be less about the tanks, but nevertheless, it is uh, still pretty based on that. So I think we've got some reinforcements here. We've got a King Tiger from the looks of it, a heavy, heavy tank, Kunix Tiger. Uh, there, so that is, I, I would say, on par in terms of frontal armor, uh, going up against some of the, the heavy armor that the Russians will be bringing. And then I think we also have a um, specialty armored car, song with a 7.5 millimeter cannon, which is actually pretty good, especially because it has heat rounds, uh, which is, I, I think. I think heat inside this game is actually APCR and Saba is actually heat up here. I'm not too terribly sure about it. Either way, its pen values aren't enough to take on the, the blob coming from the south. So we will try to get that to go around here to cover whatever is here. So this Panther, it's actually entrenched with sandbags. Um, it is currently looking down Lipsiger Street. So. That is quite nice. We'll get it to shoot this engineer squad with whatever it can. And, I, oh, I see. It's actually low on ammo for its main gun. The main gun actually only has 10 uh, rounds inside it. So it can pin down the infantry, but it can't do too much more than that. So the situation inside the south is pretty good, or I would say not, not terrible. So I'm going to get my infantry here to, again, gradually pull back. They, these guys have already sniped one tank, so I'm going to pull it back into the minor streets over here. Hope to God some of these Panzers, uh, Gren, or some of these minor squads do rally. And uh, I guess over here, I mean, these guys are really embroiled with the Soviet troops. So yeah, the minute we try to fire on one of them, everything just kind of builds fire on them, which is not the position that you want to be in. These guys, the, the company platoon was in a decent location, but again, these are these guys aren't going to last very long. And it looks like we took down a few of the troops, but that's not going to help out by too much. These guys are, are the SS infantry, so they can hold up better than, than some of the other people. Good thing there, that squad managed to, uh, to bail than anything else, but these guys, I think, are pretty much goners at this point. So yeah, this is looking like quite a difficult scenario. How much is the Reich Chancellery worth? Let's see. That thing is worth... Actually, you know what? Not that much in terms of the... In, in, in the grand scheme of things. Well, that's fair. Yeah, and again, like some of these scenarios, they're meant to be like truly historical scenarios. So I'm not actually sure whether or not we'll be able to win this. I mean, historically, we all know how this turned out. Not very well. Uh, oh, I think we immobilized one tank over here. These guys are definitely dead. If they're not dead, hopefully they'll be able to pin down a lot of troops. But it looks like, yeah, a lot. It looks like the enemy's using a lot of fires on them. But the minute that they start pulling back, they're gonna take a lot of casualties. Don't know what that T thirty four is doing up there. And what's happening here is that the troops are trying to retreat. It's just a part of the game code where they're they're routing, if you will. And that said, like they'll they'll route right into the enemy fire, which is the the shitty thing about the game code. And it looks like a lot of them are paying the price for it. So yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do uh, once again. What can we do? So taking a look at losses here, yeah, a lot of the Volkssturm is uh, starting to suffer a lot of casualties over here. The 80.8 uh, centimeter flak has one kill, and it looks like it's starting to get suppressed. So I'm guessing it picked off that tank over there. And yeah, so we'll ready it up. We'll get it to target another tank, 38 chance to hit, 35 chance to hit. Uh, what do we have on the, uh, on the D30034? 28% chance to hit. I am going to go for the um, the 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 U572, the the assault gun facing towards the sides there. So for them, I'm gonna disable their rifles and stuff like that because I mean at the end of the day, I don't want them firing that. I'm not actually sure whether or not it will fire. 60% chance to hit. No hit. Last shot. AP. Things immobilized, which is to me a kill simply because of the fact that it is a AT type of deal 
So these guys, Panzer, Panzer Fallstorm troops, 20% uh, pen, 20 pen. So if they're lucky, again, disable their weapons for now. Fire that. Boom, that's another tank dead. Get them to shift around, get them to re-enable those weapons so that they can fire. And we move on to the next one. So this tank right over here, the SU-152, is immobilized, facing a completely irrelevant uh, direction. So we're good there. Let's get these guys to target their favorite tank and spray them down, sure. But uh, let's see, there they have Panzerfausts. Get them to fire that. Oh, I see. They uh, with with some of the weapons inside the game, if they're classified as heavy weapons, your your troops only fire them once before, kind of disappearing, really. So let's see if they have fire. They can fire. Uh, looks like I think they they routed the tank, but they didn't kill it. And the thing is that the infantry here are in a bad position to kind of move away from these tanks, which kind of sucks. Um, over here, this thing is going to cover the rest of the street. I'm not seeing a lot of infantry just yet. Or oh, they are actually starting to get behind us. We want we did a lot of damage to that squad really really fast, which is very good. But nevertheless, I want to try to consolidate my forces as best as I can, or whatever I can consolidate, I will try to. And right now these squads are kind of, they're in, they're, they're holed up in, in in positions, which is kind of nice, kind of bad. Snipers, you don't want them to get pinned down because they, uh, they'll, they'll eventually die inside straight up, you know, kind of trades like that. That squad is gone. And I think the main thing is just getting our tank reinforcements onto the field. We've got a Flak Verling uh, cannon here set up, so we'll move that through. That'll be really helpful later on, or against infantry. And I'll bring up uh, one of the, bring up the King Tiger. Fire, 20 pen. Uh, I think that hit it, yeah, it did. Smoke that thing out, very, very good. Good infantry, see whether or not that pins them or not. And I think that's actually all the reinforcements we have for the time being. So yeah. Front is holding everywhere else. Ooh, they've got planes. Yeah, planes are very, very deadly inside this game. They can get a solid run on tanks, especially. Uh, the front, the, the top armor on the tanks, right? I mean, it's not that heavy, so they are really, really deadly. Yeah, that squad's gonna be gone. Boom. Infantry here got another tank, that's good. That T-34 is holding up, which is fine. It's the uh, the O type of T-34s that I'm worried about because those guys are those guys are flamethrower equipped, which makes a ton of a difference if you can just drive them up, flamethrower a building. That clears the infantry up real fast. And yeah, not something that I want to to happen. So actually one of the one of their one of their tanks bailed from the map. That's kind of funny. And we got reinforcements. So we have a gun APC, we got another APC, a uh, reconnaissance vehicle, not really helpful, but I appreciate the effort, and another flak vehicle there. So at the end of the day, with those vehicles, I don't think they'll be able to do too much. Grab another pick off here. And over here, I just want our infantry to... I don't even know if that's considered in the building. That, that will most that surely be considered in the building for now. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this squad to puck down smoke here and here. Smoke is invaluable inside this game if you know how to use it correctly. Pull back and hope that they can shoot this squad. So now they are hopefully safed up for now. And these guys can now kind of exit the field with the smoke uh, there. So Tigers on the hunt, February 2nd, provisional release date, looks very similar to you well, all. Um, I, I haven't been following that game, but I know of it. I, I don't know, I think it'll be kind of cool. Right, so over here we have an opportunity to kind of, you know, push back once again, so we will. 
and that's just going to cause more casualties along here. So yeah, I mean, if you if you can use smoke inside this game, you can really abuse it for for what it is, and it's a wonderful tool. The main thing is that, like, it's kind of cheap at one point. And my bad, I wanted to rally the sniper. The snipers, when they're out of contact, they're rather difficult to rally. Is the thing this guy actually has a zero percent chance of rallying, so he can he can shoot at these uh, Soviets all day long. You can keep the two squads busy, but he won't be able to take them out. Is my uh, is my worry there? How are we doing over here? You guys have taken four casualties and you guys are rallying. Can you see anything else apart from that tank? No, you cannot. Perfect. Close assault. Take it, takes it out. So these guys are now two kills for... I, I actually don't know if infantry has a has a different logo than the, um, than the tanks. If they do. <laughs> Boom. There we go. So that thing retreated right into our line of fire. The bad thing is that uh, now there's a heaping wreck right here, which does kind of shield the IS tanks moving along the side. So that's kind of the, the good and bad. Over here we've got five heat, nine pen. How much does one of these IS tanks have? Nine. So this will be very, very close. But uh, let's see. These guys are routed. That's fine. I want this uh, half track to solely be able to pick off things down along this road and see how well they do at, uh, at, at uh, kind of picking off things like that. Infantry over here, I'm going to get them to move forwards, hopefully back cap some of these objectives, which will ideally, again, take some pressure off of the front so the AI will have to go back and grab them. I think I already moved troops over here. Uh, the rest of my troops are either in positions where it wouldn't be feasible to move them or it would be difficult to do so. This tank right over here, this is the, the O-34. That is a designated flame uh, thrower equipped T-34. So we can take a look at it. It has the gun and it has the ATOFT here, which I believe is the actual flamethrower module. So yeah, flame tank based on T-34 hull. Um, the flame tank has an HE value of nine, but make no mistake, I think there are special rules about it it has 20 accuracy up here and 40 killing power and to give you guys an idea cannon up there firing he has a killing potential of seven so yeah that thing is quite tough i'm gonna fire a um, tank shell at it try to take it off right away other t-34 will hopefully get hit ap ammunition bounces which is very very bad king tiger tries to score the hit hit it 20 pen nothing happened unfortunately Let's grab the tank and let's drive it slightly forwards so that we can kind of better cover that road. So overall, that is going to be another turn at a glance here. And we can move this forward. So uh, yeah, I mean, this is seeming, seemingly working out pretty well. Right, so how are we going to do over here? So the Soviets have been blunted over here for the most part. With our infantry where they are, so long as we can save the, the, the this platoon of uh, Charlie made right... Yeah, this is what I mean by close assault, by the way. Our guys managed to pick off a lot of stuff advancing in this tile. Except for that troop. Uh, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of shitty, but oh well. The main thing is that so long as they're holed up inside those buildings, they can just absolutely pummel the living crap out of those guys. So yeah. Okay, so now we move to the next phase. There is a, another group of Volks. Oh, those guys are, are routed, so they won't do anything. So these guys over here, we just want them to pull back. We don't care about the objectives too much at this point, I, I should say. Um, the main thing is that I just want my troops to be... Yeah, they can't enter the building this turn, but they can pull back far enough such that they can kind of contest that section. Over here, I really hope they can rally because now thing about this is that inside these close situations if your guys miss or they don't get the hit off on the enemy squad right here they get they, they get stuck into retreat and then they're kind of screwed is the thing because your enemies can you know quite literally there's a katusha firing we managed to identify where it is um given its fire right away and that's always really really bad over here these guys are going to have a have a duel and chances are is that we won't win that duel so that's also kind of bad over here what i could do is i could put plop down smoke capture the victory point a very arbitrary move um 
And yeah, I'm not a terribly big fan of that, how, how, how much this game is based on the objectives, more or less because then some of the objectives become really, really arbitrary, like capping that point. I think holding the buildings, honestly, is kind of more important, but sure. So we'll cap those and we'll make sure that we tell the game AI, hey, there's some stuff here that you missed, so come back and recap it, is kind of the story there. So these guys are getting hit by something, so we'll leave them at B. T-34 is buttoned. There is a troop coming down here. Let's see whether or not we can take that out. Um, this is going to be a risky move. We'll move up the gun track. And they're going to return fire, eh? Yeah, that is not good. That is not good at all. Can anything see that tank? Well, we're going to try to smoke it down. There we go. And uh, can I undo that? No. That sucks. Looks like this uh, Panzerfaust squad is going to be very, very exposed to all the stuff down coming out around over here. So, oh well. That is kind of the front as it currently stands. Over here, um, let's see, I'm going to move up the Panzerfaust squads, take a look around. And what I want to do up here is I want to try to press for these objectives. And again, just make the AI bleed for these, really, really uh, bleed for these is one thing and i'll send some of the uh the the panzer storer infantry over here which looks like a bit it's a yeah it's quite literally 12 guys with panzer shreks and rifles and that's pretty much it and we'll try to send that towards the front king tiger hits the to tank like 27 penetration this thing literally has holes in in, in it right now and still functioning but i need that tank picked off two extra hits there we go and it is set on fire so that is another thing gotten rid of, which is quite nice. How much ammunition do we have? This 44 rounds, three kills on the block, not bad. The other tank is uh, where the other AT thing has the road covered pretty well. So I think I'm actually going to rotate this and rotate it to, to, to get this tank blob soon enough. So yeah, overall, we're, we're, we're in a decent position. I don't know if it'll last 20, uh, 20 or so turns, however. But we'll see. We'll see whether or not we can do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I would actually really like to see a modern remake of the of the game, as in like you know a real overhaul where they take a look at the uh, the bases for the game and just kind of convert uh, all of the all of the uh, the tables of equipment, right? I think that would be really really cool if they could just kind of do that. And there we go, this is a street of death. <laughs> a lot of those guys are panicking out there and they're getting uh, shot the hill. Very, very good. And more tanks, uh, where more reinforcements are streaming through here. I'm gonna grab the King Tigers and I'm gonna start pushing the rest of the reinforcements. Honestly, I'm not gonna move because I don't think they're that valuable. Over here we have a tank by its lonesome. Let's get some infantry to, to push through here. Looks like the Panzerfaust squad is still good. Disabled the, the guns on it. Let's see whether or not it can fire to check whether or not it's already spent its thing. And it hasn't. But that tank's button and we took out an IS. I'm under the impression the rifle squad did, so that's pretty good as well. These are actually Volks Grenadiers. So I'm rather surprised every time they do something remotely productive. Uh, but this is good. This is good. We're holding up here and we're doing pretty well. These guys, I think, are getting suppressed because of the fires around them. But that's fair. And this area over here, this LMG manned by SS troops can, can really hold down the fort, which is really, really nice. The rest of the tanks here, we don't really care for. This sniper would be really useful as a as anything really provided that we can get them back uh on track over here this is not a situation i want to be in i want our tanks or i want our infantry to pull back through the buildings uh this squad of panzer shrek can also pull back in a minute luckily we have the road here covered and we have the other tank covering the um the, the one of the tiles one of the only tiles that can fire here which is quite nice so it looks like ideally there's no advantage there, there will be no movement on the street anymore this squad over here i'm actually going to get them to pull back to this building because i think it would be better to conserve manpower like that over here let's get this set up for an ambush
Ooh, they're dropping bombs. That is not good. Let's see what this hits. This hits the buildings, but it did hit one of our squads. Yeah, bombers can do a whole lot of damage depending on kind of what caliber of bombs they drop. Ideally, that's not going to be too bad, but hey, you never know. Yeah, there we go. Another close assault. They tried to enter that building and they got punished for it. Ooh, yeah, there were, those were definitely some infantry riding on the top of those, those tanks. I know the casualty messages flash by really fast, but um, like eventually you get the notion of you know when it says one casualty or how when it says a group of people and there yeah they definitely took a few losses on these guys. So these engineer squads, they're about you know six or eight or seven people. This one's actually two people, so I think we got eight kills, as in somebody just took an SMG and they just mowed, sprayed the vehicle down. And that is exactly what we want to see. So that is a lot of losses for them. I'm going to get these guys to move into the buildings on the side here, so then this can be a, a death alley for, for vehicles moving through. And we hit the uh, T-34. I don't think it did anything, though, so that kind of sucks. Right, so let's see, northern area of the map, um, this seems to be stable for now, they're starting to make a big push from here, and this is a difficult place to be in. Tanks are moving forwards, but they're buttoned, we've got two infantry squads, we've got to clear out the one closest to us right now. So we'll spray that down, these guys are routed now, which kind of sucks, but again, Volks Grenadiers, you can't really rely on them, I can cap that point and hope that that'll slow people down slightly over here i think it's safe to exit cap that point and go back in but we won't do that just yet over here let's get these guys to just use the smg to really spray down as you can see here a single uh artillery troop these guys don't even have um Panzerfaust, they're just spraying guys down with the smg and they're doing a wonderful job in it i'm actually going to try to you know, really punish this and get our guys to move out of these buildings so that they can route two of the guys and that'll, that'll, that'll A, slow them down, but it really re removes uh, any chance of those guys being, coming back into the fight. And over here, so far, so good. We're pulling back two, I think, 100 meters of range on these guys. And yeah, so that's pretty good. These Volkssturm, I'm going to get them to pop out here, take a quick look. And then firing distance, we're going to put that to a 1. So they're going to shoot at anything that comes next to them. But all I want them to do for now is to, to get a look at what exactly is pressing at us. So, so far so good. Let's get more tanks to ball up over here. And then later on, I think I'll have to shift the King Tigers up over here towards the north, but that's fine. Oh, and we have some uh, flame rockets. Oh, actually, Steel Tigers is a full remake of this? I did not know that. If that's the case, I, I'm actually pretty excited for it. The main thing is that, I mean, like they, they've been developing this game ever since, the, uh, the people at the Camo, Cameo Workshop. So, you know, they, they do a lot for it, but I think, like, the main thing nowadays is that, like, it's really, really bad legacy code, so they they spend a lot of time, like, like they're a little pessimistic in terms of, you know, what they can and can't do when people kind of suggest, like, like, I would say, you know, you know, that's a video game, a lot of people suggest meaningless things, but some, some of the suggestions I've seen, they're pretty good, but the main thing, again, is, again, is that just that... Yeah, they don't really have the, the engine for it over here. Let's see. Yeah, suppression is starting to build up on our troops. We tried to assault that vehicle, but it didn't work. I'm going to deploy some smoke. Hope that they live through the next a little while here. And so that said, the northern front will just do its thing. I think we found one. That, I think over here we, we, we are going to man. Yeah, we're going to destroy one squad. And over here, I can push these guys back even further. I think that actually destroyed them as well. This will That'll also destroy another squad. So we are in a very good position. Let's get these guys sprayed down. Ideally, we'll be able to bleed out another troop of, uh, tro of infantry there. And over here, I think I'm going to get the infantry to honestly set up on the second line of buildings here. Just so that if anything comes up, um, they can spray all of that stuff down. 
these two IS tanks, it looks like they were able to push back our guys. These guys can cover the side road here, make a bit of a killing zone. But hmm, for the rest of the map, I think we'll just speed it up. Ooh, that is not good. No, 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 no. Two men are casualties. The plane pulls away. Oh, I'd rather not lose the flak. Five casualties. At least they're not dropping bombs. Um, I think the game is playing too fast that you can't actually tell where the mortars are landing. I don't know if you guys have, are seeing that, but mortars are being fired on us by the uh, Soviets. A lot of tanks piling through in the well in sight of the King Tigers. Fortunately, we don't have the uh, the pack gun, the, the, the Flak 88 anymore, but we're putting up a good fight for what it's worth. Another tank down. And this is, this is actually a pretty good defense, considering how limited our resources are. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's see what we have. 12 turns out of 28. A lot of tanks over here. We're going to try to snipe those off as best as we can. Oh, that is not good. Reactionary fire manages to take down one of our King Tigers. That is going to be actually a huge setback. Ooh, I see. They have Sabat rounds. They took down the, uh, crap. They took down the main gun on this tank. I can get it to reverse as best as I can here for the most part, but that is going to make dealing with this a lot tougher. They've got one immobilized. Let's clear the smoke. They've got one immobilized uh, IS over here, one destroyed, and another one, I think, fully operational. And they have another ISU down here. Apart from that, they've got some more immobilized vehicles, but more are streaming through. So there's no doubt that they'll be able to get here within the the turns that uh, that are still left. But the thing is that we are starting to run out of uh, troops we have some of SS Nordland starting to stream through, so that is good. We'll get them to deploy in the rear, and we'll get them to garrison the Reich Chancellery, but that is uh, that is a losing battle right there. These guys, let's get them to assault. Uh, they actually take a casualty from a failed assault, uh, but I th yeah, and then they panic from seeing the tank. Really, really sucks. We'll try... Uh, Try firing off a Panzerfaust right over there. That manages to smoke the tank. They're out of smokes, so they can't um, try to hide themselves from that. These guys are still routed. I was just, I'm actually really surprised that the sniper is still alive here. I mean, usually they die pretty fast if they're spotted. And, the, and this area over here is just a, just a mess, really. Everyone's everywhere. This guy, um, they actually managed to rally to the point where they're pinned, but not enough. We're getting good intel from here, and I'm going to pull them back indoors because I want them to try to look at the other side, but um, that's not going to happen. Luckily, they managed to rally enough so that they uh, they won't they won't have to you know retreat, move out of there. But that's good. And this tank, oh, this Panther is actually immobilized for this time, so yeah, that's good. Well, that's kind of good. Right, so without those anti-tank pieces, I don't know. I don't know. Our infantry can hold for a good amount of time. The Soviets are trying to make an infantry assault there. They're getting pushed back again by close, uh, close fires. Hopefully, we can just kind of ball up here, bleed out the infantry, and then the tanks won't be able to do too much. And at the very least, we're kind of holding on this uh, Elbrich Street over here. Yeah, so that's that. More of SS Nordland is arriving through uh, half-track carriers, so they will be balled up right over there. Okay, so this area of the map is starting to stabilize, which is very, very good for us. These guys over here are being pinned by... Ah, never mind. Two tanks are coming out of there. So, 
Hmm. That kind of sucks. How are we doing for ammunition? They still have enough Panzerfausts. They hopefully have enough Panzerfausts. I'm going to get them to actually run across the street here and to... don't know if they have smoke. If they don't, I'll actually get them to pull back. You can't actually take damage from the fires it is kind of a big deal. And I'll get them, the sniper team to, to pull into there. I want this squad to hopefully cap that point later on, or at the very least, see what they can do there. That squad is definitely going to be killed, unless it can take out that engineering squad. Took down one, the IS fires onto it. And yeah, again, I mean, in those situations, once the tank fires onto you, you're kind of screwed over here. Vox Grenadiers don't have smoke rounds, so that sucks even more. I mean, at this point, this uh, this this King Tiger with the with its gun knocked out is kind of useless, unfortunately. And with how it is uh, currently, with tanks pointing down both sides, uh, I don't think I'll be able to set up a meaningful flak rally for us to be able to spray down the tanks. So yikes! We would have been in a fine position if we still had the uh, the two King Tigers. Take a look at some of the buildings being destroyed by the bombs dropping off over here. That's going to miss just slightly from the looks of it. At the very least, those flat guns can try to, to grab us some points by taking down the enemy aircraft. Mm -hmm. Aircraft is actually worth a, a decent amount if you do damage them. They're, they're worth a decent amount in terms of the, the points you get from killing the damn things. But at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't, I would not solely kind of try to for, do that. It's not really worth it there. We managed to push back two more Soviet squads in close combat. But again, I don't know if it's going to be worth the uh, the trade. So, yeah. Lots of action happening there. And I want to say that the uh, the Soviets are within a kilometer of uh, the Reich Chancellery over here. So our guys have been putting up the good fight, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether or not we can kind of hold out here. I don't think we can. There's just too many of them. There's another tank right over here. These guys can't rally, so they're kind of dead. Unless we can... No, never mind. Ah, no, that's not going to work. Wanted to try to save that squad. If we could just assault that T-34, they would have been fine. They would have been in a, in a decent position. Over here, we need to pull these guys back into the buildings. Over here, I don't really know why there's such a such an abundance of infantry, but so long as we can keep them away from that point, that is good. And over here, our guys are in, I would say, a decent position to retreat out of the buildings and to go back into the uh, the area right over here so that is good and yeah this this squad i don't know why they're out in the open they don't have smoke so that kind of sucks there we go we'll move them back there and uh, we're playing the uh the the sector z campaign which is uh the battle for berlin Or not campaign, battle, I should say. Yeah, just with how many troops are streaming in here, it is a very difficult position to be in. 15 turns out, or 15 turns in, and they are really starting to make a press for these places. Can we get any of these guys to rally? No. IS is buttoned. Sorry, but it looks like this squad is... Uh, going to have to disappear now. Not really too many ways we can keep that squad alive. And over here we can get 
them to take out the infantry as best as they can, but the tanks will get them eventually. So yeah, the infantry we can just get to hold up. Uh, I'm going to displace the MG. These guys right over here, there's an infantry squad on top of ours, so we can pick that off, but still, the Russians are just swarming over here. These these troops over here, looks like, you know, the, uh, the line of Soviet... Uh, troops are actually getting ahead of them so I'm gonna get them to start to again try to do whatever they can to try to pull back these guys have a single smoke canister we can plop that down get our guys to escape through the back here and set up another line of defense but I'm going to try to tr conserve that for uh, for the time being so let's see what we can do here about getting these uh, these units over here into better locations. So we have some Panzer stores over here. We'll put them inside the buildings. Once this guy rallies, we'll try to get something to go into that line of buildings. Let's get these guys to defend this set of buildings, this set of buildings over here. And oh, actually the crew, I think bailed out of the Panzer or Panther here. So that sucks. Yeah. Remove the tank to cover where it was, but again, going up against IS tanks, like, I don't think we can hold this for a very long time. Just simply because of the, the nature of uh, what we're fighting against here. Might have to gradually start withdrawing troops from over here, because I don't, again, want them to get isolated from any of this. So we'll try to conserve what we can. This street looks like it's, it's, it's so far good. But I'll get our guys to pull back, nevertheless, just slightly. Ah, and I saw some guards infantry appear in that uh, chat there, so that is kind of neat. Yeah, guard infantry is uh, going to be quite a problem. So the Soviet troops, uh, they, they they have a lot of them, but again, I mean, the, in, in reality, they're not really high quality guys. The scouts are different, or the, the guards are a different story. They're they're more so on par with regular troops, and at this point inside the game, I think they're actually like much much better. So that uh, you know, kind of keeping that in consideration, uh, well, like <laughs> we've been fighting like. For, for intents and purposes, cannon fodder for, for the time being. And that is gonna be difficult to, to get around, eh? So I'll see what we can do. This tank is gonna have to pull back some more. These guys over here can brawl it out with the infantry, I guess. Holy. Yeah, I think we took two casualties there for one of theirs. Uh, I'll get our guys to pull back in mass now. You know what? Here, if you guys are gonna retreat, now oh, they're out of the fight. Can you guys plop down smoke? You guys have free smoke ammo, but uh, yeah, I need one troop to come up here, plop down smoke, so that the rest of them have some chance in getting out of this pocket and retreating. Uh, no, the minimap's a set size, by the way. I can't increase that there. So yeah, that kind of sucks. And yeah, I mean, this is overall quite a difficult situation to be in. Hmm. 16 turns, uh, I suppose we'll just see what happens within the next few turns. Really is just kind of waiting it out. Some of our infantry here, the isolated bits anyhow, getting picked off now.
Yeah, it looks like they're starting to clean up after some of like some of the isolated troops that we have here. Those guys were able to delay for a long time, but now it looks like the the second wave of Soviet troops are coming in, and that is uh, really putting up a fight, I've got to say. Yeah, just this ball of infantry down here. These guys inside this building over here, this dome building, I don't really know what to say about it. Engineers are firing with them at carbines. They have an 11% chance. I don't think they hit anything, though. These guys over here, whatever parts of them are still are still ready, we'll try to pull back. We'll try to set up another line of defense uh, somewhere behind these buildings. But this is uh, it's going to be a tough fight. Yeah, over here the main thing is that the infantry fighting inside these buildings can, can last a decent amount of time, but once the tanks start slugging shells, that is when it is really difficult to hold the front. Over here I think I'll have to drop a smoke just to kind of save these two units. Over here these, these will screw up, the troops are just kind of gone. Machine gun will get it to try to fire on it, and the tank fires at our, ta at our guys inside the buildings and causes four casualties. That squad just literally disappeared off the face of the earth. Over here we can try to take that out, and again sticking to the buildings, try to try to get this one Panzer Grenadier squad to, to, to make its last stand, really hold up here with three kills. Um, three, you know, three squad kills, I should say. There. And on this side of the street, these guys have taken a lot of damage as well. All I want them to do is just to pull back and set up inside Kaiserdorf Hotel from the looks of things. These troops, get them to enter the back of the building and move back towards the Chancellery. So the Russians looks like they've uh, they've broken through, um, just like they did historically. Now I think it's just kind of a question whether or not we'll be able to pull back far enough to uh, to to the Chancellery. And I don't really care if it's a it's a it's a loss here in this position. But one one of the things is that. And again, some of these scenarios, I, like they don't specify like what side you play on. So to to me, some of those are historical scenarios, and therefore they are really difficult to hold on. Um, but I really do want to see the score for this, just to kind of see, you know, whether or not we 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 put up the good fight, really. So so yeah. Lots and lots of uh, attackers here. All right. Oh, and they grabbed the AA gun. Perfect. So Panzer Grenadiers, try to take that tank out. There we go. So these two squads might be able to seal off. Uh, or you know, keep the uh, keep keep the corridor clear of Panzers who are enemy tanks for now. These three squads over here, I, I know you can't really see them very clearly, but there's actually a squad inside the uh, the fire there inside the post office. They are kind of pinned and trapped. I don't think they'll be able to pull back in time. These guys are, are routed really really bad. Over here, these troops, let's pull them into the Kaiser Hotel. Whatever guys on the other side of the street, if we can get them to rally, I want them to, to try to pull back and um, ideally hole up inside the Chancellery in due time. So that said, yeah, this is, uh, this is a pullback to the Chancellery. So I'm going to let the turn, I think I'm going to let the turn roll in a minute, but... Um, after that, I think this will just be, you know, flee to flee to the heart of the Reich and see whether or not we can at the very least hold that building. That's kind of my my personal goal in this, is to survive so that they can, they, they have to assault the building. Um, so to that, I will speed up the game and let's see. Yeah, we're, we're still waiting for, for Steiner's army to arrive, right? So let's see. They've broken through to Leipzig Strasse. 
Yeah, these guys I don't think it had ever rallied. I'm gonna go to the washroom, so I'll let the, the turn do its thing, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and we are uh, a go with the Siege of Berlin. So again, I think it's uh, time to, to call it quits, and what we're doing is that we're going to pull back all of the forces kind of within the relative uh, range here, and yeah, really try to hold up here. So... Let's get this tank to... I don't know how to activate the smoke dischargers on the tanks manually. But, uh, or... I think you can get them to fire at the ground and then get them to puff smoke that way. So, I'm gonna try to do it. I don't remember the command to, to fire the weapons, though, is the thing. Uh, either way, we're going to get the infantry to pull back and to garrison the, uh... The Reich Chan Chancellor yeah, as best as we can. And it looks like these guys are kind of trapped. Over here too. The thing is that with the Panzer Grenadiers and just the terrain here, it's impossible to, to get some decent rallies off. So to that, we just want our guys to, to run back here. And once they do, I, I really don't know what, what, uh, what else to do once we're here. We'll get uh, whatever of Nordland is here to, to hold up. And uh, yeah, and await, await their sentencing, I guess. Ooh. Oh. Managed to get something, something of ours that is able to shoot AP managed to hit these vehicles. I think it might be the gun in the back here, but yeah, this area is... Uh, kind of gone. I just want to save the Panzer Shrek teams. At the very least, they'll be able to to hole up for a very, very long time. Oh. Hey, we got another vehicle. Kind of really suck to uh, to 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 get killed at this point inside the war. Yeah, that, that Panzer Shrek team is just gone. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get the infantry to spread out inside the building here. These guys will get, well, we'll wait one turn and we'll try to send them back over here. Anyone can move, we'll get them to try to make a run for it. I'm actually really surprised this Yacht Panther, uh, this Yacht Panzer, yeah, it's a Panzer, managed to take down two of the ISU vehicles coming through here. These guys, I think, are dead. Oh, there's an IS pressing through there. Oh, didn't mean to get them to run on the street, but oh well, they're kind of gone now as well. And over here, hopefully some of these guys will make it. I mean, these troops can make a run for it. I don't know if they'll get very far. Those guys are routed over here. These guys are retreating. 
So overall, the chances are bad. Let's see whether or not we can get the hero flak thing. Oh no, I got mobilized! Oh well, you did your duties. Shoot flak at them, please. Shoot flak at the infantry, come to think of it. Please. Boop, boop, boom. Boop, boop, boom. At the very least, that'll keep the infantry there pinned long enough so that we can pull our guys whatever is left of them back. Surprised that the crewmen are still alive. Come to think of it. <laughs> Oh no! The infantry are being cut off! The tanks, the IS, they're, they're rolling down the like main street over here. And, oh no! No! They're trapped! That is brutal. I thought it was going. I, I, I had hoped we would be able to save the troops, but no. Those guys are stuck on the other side of the, uh, the main street over here. These troops right over here. I can get them. Oh, yes. Some of them made it. This, like the bigger squads, I don't think have any chance of uh, saving themselves. So these guys are gonna sit in a corner, really. There's nothing we can do about that. And hope that they can survive for just a few minutes longer. See whether or not any of these people can pull back fast enough so that they can link up with anything over here. These are uh, still ready. And over here, can any troop move? No. Okay, well at the very least we got one squad in, but uh, apart from that, yeah, the chances here are slim to none. Assault. Assault. Well, that sucks. And they have more air. Oh no. Ah, the air is actually trying to take down our last uh, hero tank destroyer. So overall, that is a bad place to be in. Right, uh, if you didn't see the bottom text there, they fired off another wave of uh, Katusha rockets. So that is uh, quite something. I don't know what they're at, what, where that hit, uh, however, so yeah. Nope, oh, they got the hero tank. And the IS tanks are making the last push onto the uh, the the chancellery. Actually, really surprised the half track survived a direct shot. Ooh, let's just grab the last of the troops and just hide them inside the buildings. Get the turns to play out slightly faster here. Right, so those guys are hidden. These guys, we can hide them. These people are screwed either way. I mean, it's just way too much armor. Uh, over here, these guys can move slightly back. Same deal here, we're not really. Uh, what else, what else? Move the sniper back from there. Oh, perfect. The uh, half track over here is also pinned. It's not like they could get back either way, but that's always nice to know. So, uh, yeah, that is kind of the mission here. Let's see whether or not we can just simply hold the building. Okay, so they took out the uh, the rack of rockets there. 
It's not like we could fire it either way, really. And I guess at this point, I mean, they are quite literally right next to the, uh, the Chancellery. <laughs> so, to that... Nope. Maybe we'll be able to save and grab one more squad to, uh, put into, into the buildings here, but I don't know. Oh, yes, they can. They'll make a sprint. Sprint to the Chancellery at this point. Uh, can we move anything else? Nope. Alright, fair enough. We'll get uh, the people inside the Chancellery to consolidate their positions and make sure that uh, if they wanted to press onto this, they, they would have to charge it. Well, it's actually, uh, to the people in chat, there is actually a free version of this game. And I did say it last time, you can download it for free. It's just that the paid version, um, it, in my opinion, it, it's pretty much, like, if you want to play it on, like, a widescreen monitor or something like that, just get the paid version. But I agree, like, 40 bucks is, uh, is pretty expensive. Oh, and uh, we're at the point in the game where uh, a lot of our troops are, 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 at this point, are just surrendering. Actually, surprised. Some of the infantry here, the isolated infantry, are starting to make a break for where they, they are able to hold off. We have a squad of, uh, I think, just regular infantry really holding off a couple of tanks there. I don't know if they'll be able to make it into the chance theory or not, but uh, we'll see. Really long text delay. Infantry is pulling back. I hope the game didn't crash right here, or didn't get stalled, because that would really suck. There we go, that turn is done. Let's get these guys to pop smoke, pop smoke. And there we go, they enter the building, and soon enough they'll be able to move to a tile where they can be reliably just kind of safed up. Over here, these troops are still stuck. Isolated bits of infantry. Clear that out. And at this point, I think we'll just let the game counter run, really. Don't really know what Heroes and Generals has to do with this. I think it's all right. Oh, man. They, <laughs> wow. They, okay, well, like, one of the things I didn't expect here is that, like, it typically, like, you can force a tank to move into a building, but the caveat is that usually it just destroys the building and, and renders the tank ineffective, as in immobilized in this case. They're, like, quite literally, I think, here, if you take a look at the Soviet tanks, I mean, it looks like they're driving them in one by one, and, like, as in, like, they drive them in, so then the first tank creates rubble, it destroys the building and it creates rubble, and they drive the second tank in, and I think... They literally have a chain of tanks, and they're trying to grab the uh, the last objectives inside the inside the chancellery there. So that is uh, quite the fight <laughs> for this single building. And and yeah, I mean at this point, like once these uh, these last troops are are dealt with, then it is game. I think I'll, I'll see whether or not I can speed up the turn delay even more or, you know, make the turn delay even smaller. But 26 out of 28 turns, I mean, this is uh, quite a difficult scenario, but I mean, it's kind of fitting for the time, right? I mean, this is uh, the battle for Berlin. And whatever's left inside the building is starting to get cleared by, from the looks of it, the mixture of the tanks driving into the buildings and firing and whatever is left. So, yeah, quite the, uh, quite this uh, area there. These are rifle squads, too. They're not even, 
um, assault units force broken appears on the side of the screen here indicating that this is uh, from the looks of it the end of things next turn yeah our force has been broken So I think the game will pretty much end on this turn. Soviets have literally driven tanks into the Reich Chancellery over here. Oh wow, half the building broke up towards the top there. Like, apart from the objective tile, which has a single unit of ours sitting on top of it, which I think is also the HQ, uh, the rest of the guys are just dead. So this should be the last turn of the day. And yeah, at this point all of our infantry is kind of trying to pull back. Keyword is trying because they, they're not going to succeed. The HQ surrenders and the rest disperse. Ooh. And that is uh, Sector C, I guess. Really difficult scenario. But again, I think it's historical is uh, one of the big things. So taking a look at the score here, uh, we lost 406, taking down two, uh, 625. They lost uh, 26 or 27 vehicle, 28 vehicles in total. Uh, so overall, we put up the good fight. Every almost every single one of our units are destroyed. But then again, they brought they brought a lot more stuff than we did. So, at the end of the day, it looks like marginal defeat, seeing as how, uh, yeah, I mean, like, at the end of the day, you are kind of, you know, this in, like, unfavored in this lineup. So, overall, it looks like uh, we didn't lose any strategic objectives, but the tactical advantage has been relinquished, uh, to say the least. So, yeah, that is uh, Sector Z. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that mission. And, like I said, I mean, this game has a lot of different types of uh, battles, and a lot of them are very, very interesting, just like that one. So, I'm going to show you guys the Tobruk battle map, just so that, you know, we can take a look at a, a different battle, if you will. But, yeah, I mean, overall, lots and lots of different uh, content here. And overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the let's, uh, we're not let's play, but live stream slash let's play, I guess. So, uh, a couple of things, I mean, ending off this video, uh, I wanted to talk about um, seeing some, some like, if you guys in particular have specific scenarios you want to see, do recommend them is one thing. The other thing is that if you, uh, if you... And like one one of the things is that I don't have the CD version of uh, Win SP main battle tank because I, and, and again it's it's forty bucks, it's it's kind of expensive for in my opinion what you're getting. But to play these and to to actually stream these, I feel as though like you know it'd be a lot better if I had the uh, the the CD versions of them. So to that, I mean, if somebody does have a copy of this and they don't mind me borrowing it, that would be actually pretty good. But apart from that, I don't think we'll be seeing. Uh, uh, modern uh, at the MBT version on the channel for the foreseeable future. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. Uh, actually, later on tonight, and please do um, comment about this. Would you guys like to see either some more squad gameplay or some more forged, uh, forged, uh, forged alliance? Uh, gameplay there. Anyhow, to that, I'll leave you guys, and uh, well, I'll see you guys uh, later on. So, bye-bye for now.